This episode is sponsored by Bandai Namco Entertainment America and their new game, Elden Ring. It's an action role-playing game for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Elden Ring is a new fantasy world with a deep backstory created in collaboration with George R.R. R. Martin and Hidetaka Miyazaki. Click the link in the description to learn more about the game and begin your journey to become the Elden Lord. Hey there folks, welcome to a very special episode of Binging with Fabish, where we're taking a look at the giant land octopus from Elden Ring. Here to help me, both because it sounds really hard, and because he knows video games better than I do, is Alvin Joe. Yeah, thanks for having me. And not only are we going to be making the giant land octopus, we're also going to be making a flask of Crimson Tears, which is the HP potion from the game. That sounds delicious. My HP is pretty low. I could use some potion. And our spirits are very high. Mana! So, you want to uh, slice up this garlic? Love thin to. slices? I love doing thin slices of whole cloves of garlic. This is a rare treat for me. How's this for thickness? I should have asked before I sliced it. No, no, that's great. Okay, that's great. Uh, so now what? We just need to heat oil. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. We need a great ginger. I'll get a saucepan going. Yeah. Wow. I say things wrong, so it's funny. You there? Uh, yeah, I think we're there. Okay. All in one go. Plop. It down, daddy. There we go. Scoop, scoop, doop, doop. Once that cooks for what'd you say, three minutes, we pour it over some chili flakes. It's gonna do this cool. That already looks delicious. Yeah. Now all we can do is open fire an octopus. Make some tea. So, we have a strong fire, we have a pot of boiling water. <laughs> <coughs> we have a strong fire, we have a pot of boiling water, now we have to boil an octopus. Yeah. Love this guy. You wanna uh, kill the octopus a little bit? No, you got the gloves on, you can do it. Oh. It will roast ourselves some tentacles of this land octopus. Now, into the boiling water goes the octopus. For how long, Alvin? For about 20 minutes until it's kind of tender. You can see that some of the tentacles are already curling up. That's a good sign. Should we season it? You're good at this. <laughs> yeah, I got that. You I'm did the octopus, I can do this part. Thank you. Now, here I have an onion. And I forgot that we're in the wilderness here, so we can just throw our waste right into the fire. Yep. It's part of the joys of being a cook in the wilderness. There's an onion. What the hell is this crap? So this is lily flour that's oh. been dehydrated and rehydrated. That sounds kind of nice. It Careful, might... it's very hot in there. Ah, that's minus five HP. Minus five. We got to make our potion. All right, that's right, some kids? garlic. <laughs> Here, come on, come on. Here, let's switch it. Let's switch spaces. I can't. I can't conscientiously watch. All this. right, now we have some uh, nettle leaves. Oh, look how much better he is. Nettle leaves and peppercorns. I got a couple bay leaves here. I'm gonna throw some bay leaves in. I just had these on me. All right. There you go. If you were an old mage in a wood, yes, and you were preparing this, me, I'd eat it because I'd be like, I trust this old mage. Yeah, it's like, hey, look, you're looking a little worn down. Here's some soup to help you along your way. Yeah. Plus 10 to magic and physical resistance. Magic and physical resistance. Well, Very folks, important. we're going to let this simmer for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Fork tender. Alvan, let's see if it's fork tender. Oh, that's very tender. What is fork tender? I thought fork tender was like, you know, short ribs or something. Oh, that's fall apart tender. Here. Okay. You want to poke it? No. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Is that all of it? I think so. Okay, let's bring these inside. All right. And we'll make our, our health potion, mm -hmm. HP poche. Un. Yeah. And uh, then we'll uh, go, to, you know, uh, score some points. Get some coins. Huh? Video games. <laughs> what are we doing now? For more flavor, I thought it'd be fun to blitz the chili oil so we can get all this. I'm gonna blend it together. It sounds fun to me. All right. Now here, now you get it. Get it, grab the bowl. There go. All right, and there we go. And just make it as difficult as possible. There we go. All right. Mmm. -hmm. 
Can you say flavor? Flavor. You can do the honors of Blitz in this. Oh, thank you. I love that honor. Ooh. I think we're good. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so we got our, our chili oil here. Now what are we doing? We gotta make some tea, yep. Yeah? yeah. So how are we making our HPT? So I was thinking that, you know, Kendall also came up with this idea. Oh, Jess came up with this idea that the crimson part could be from hibiscus. I don't know that was my idea. Kendall came up. <laughs> this is hibiscus. We also have some soursop. Here, you can do the soursop. Damn, it's like me and my report cards. Oh, <laughs> I was dumb too as a child. <laughs> All right, let's pour some water over it. Whoa. Ooh. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. That's very potion looking. What? I'm realizing now, this is the coffee grounds where like it takes a longer time for the water to pass through. That's fine. I got you covered, guys. Don't worry about this. Right. This is how we steep it. So we let this steep for a couple minutes? Yeah, we let it steep for a couple minutes. So this is pine cone bud syrup because in Elden Ring, there is the Erd tree, which is a great and magical tree, which they sometimes use resin from. And resin is a cousin of sap. And sap turns into syrup. Elden Ring, Erd tree, <laughs> pine cone syrup for the tea. That is some wild stuff. Do you think that's steep long enough? Yeah, I think so. Okay, when we when we unsteep it, okay, it's very red. It's extraordinarily. It's it's it looks like blood. It's Crimson incredibly. Tears. Red. Crimson tears. Yeah. Do I want a towel? To what? In case I make a mistake. What are the odds of that happening? Duh, duh. Now we're gonna add some pine bud syrup. Yeah. I'm gonna go a little hog wild with it. Mix it up. Mix it up. Give it a little mix. So mix it up. Cut. Mix it up. Mix it, mix it so it's homogenous. Uh, mix it, Spider Man. Ooh, do you like it? That'll be really nice once it's chilled, too. I can't wait for it to cool down. I can't wait to eat octopus with this. I can't wait for any of this. This is so much fun. <laughs> All right, we got our octopus here. I'm eating chocolate. Let's skewer some octopus, two skewers, I guess. Uh, I would. I think you know what you're talking about, so I would like to see how you do it. I don't think I know what I'm talking about at all. I don't think I ever have. The important thing is you sound like it. That's the important thing. We have our skewers. All right, we have our skewers. Outside. Outside. Back we go. Back we go. Are you ready? Let's do it. So we do it marshmallow style first? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Wood fired octopus. Give them a little char. Yeah. And then uh, until they get nice and crispy. Ooh. Beautiful. Yeah, this is badass. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Now this is cooking. No, that honestly up. looks right, no, pretty good. Pop it on there, Papa John. We got some sizzling grilled octopus. Let's go eat it. We got our skewers. Let me just put them right here. We have to make our nightmare plating. Hey, maybe we should pour some chili oil over top. And there we have it. Some land octopus, lightly killed. Lightly kills. Uh, uh, poached, grilled, and smothered with homemade chili oil. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. It's actually quite nice. Mine's still warm, but it's very good. <laughs> All right, should we just, I'm just gonna take a bite off of one of these. Mm. My texture is quite nice. That's really good. It's like pork belly texture. Wood fire grilling is the key. Like, there's so much flavor in that. And it's so tender. Mm. Now let's make it look even better. Let's yeah. Do, let's do a plating, shall we? All right. Chili oil on top, I want it to be super spicy. And then kind of dribble that around. That's pretty legit. Then, well, we'll see. Just thinking batons, what do you think? That's pretty cool. Not too bad. I dig that. Maybe just for salt. shoots and googles, we throw a little finishing salt on there. Look mm -hmm. at that. That's pretty cool. Huh? Try with all this chili oil, a little more salt, see yeah. how this comes out. Mm. Quite nice. Well, dude, thank you so much for coming through and making this fun and easier on me. Really appreciate it. Cheers, dude. Cheers. Thanks again to Bandai Namco Entertainment America and Elden Ring for sponsoring this episode. In Elden Ring, players explore and uncover the mysteries of the lands between. You can customize your playstyle with tons of weapons, armors, skills, magical abilities, and crafted items. 
The game's also a great entry point to enjoy a brand new world and lore, especially if you found Dark Souls 2, well, daunting. Click the link in the description to learn more about the game and begin your journey to become the Elden Lord.